All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for waiting. Or, if you're crazy and you're watching this in the future right now, on the tubes of you, then the time has come. And so have we. The time is now. Well, I'm a couple of days late because of uh, real life, but I am still unspoiled for the Nikkei, Goddess of Victory, second anniversary live stream and all the news connected to it. Yeah, that's right. I actually haven't seen things. I had one dangerous swipe through social media and I'm like swiping real quick so I didn't see anything. Um, and I don't think I've gotten spoiled. I don't think I've actually gotten spoiled because... I just saw a picture of Cinderella, but she was a picture in the preview already, wasn't she? Or did I remember her because I recently played the event, uh, the Red Ash? <clears throat> could be, could be. Anyways, I have my suspicions and I'm pretty sure they're coming true. But it's just gonna be awesome then. Also, I'm wearing, of course... Of course I'm wearing um, my proper, you know, commander attire. So this is the most legit version I can bring to the table. Okay. Well then, without further ado, shall we watch the Nikkei God, it's a victory, Nikki. Second anniversary live stream. Here we go. What quality? 1080. Okay. Is this the countdown? So there was a 30-minute intro. We're not going to watch the whole 30-minute intro, by the way. I just want to quickly check through. Okay. So there was a rocket. Is that Shifty? Is Shifty on her way to work? Is she bringing parts to the rocket? She's turning on the screens. Oh, neat. Okay. We're obviously gonna click through to see if anything happens. Anything in particular. You never know how much little easter egg they're hiding. Oh. Okay. Wait. But a rocket would be outside. I don't know where we story-wise are. I'm in like, what, chapter 8? I think. Okay, let's go to the 30 second cooldown. Here we go. So for anyone watching this, probably on YouTube, hello, thanks for watching. I am new to Nikkei, started a couple months ago, but I'm very slow at playing, so effectively, I'm like not even a month in, technically seen. If you really consider it, but I've been playing for months, but not really, get it? Let's go! Ignition! Rappy! Wait, we can, we can pause. I have the power to pause. Yo! Wait for that. Look at that. <laughs> Hand-holding with Rappy after all this time. Even more now. You know they make babies like that, right? You want to be careful. 
That's how tiny hands are made. You know, like all the little hands they have, like in these games and horror movies? That's how they're made. So they're on the surface. Launching a rocket. I, I gotta play story Whoa, like this. It worked! The launch was successful. I... I'm not dreaming, am I? No, this is no dream. There is something I'd like Volume's to good? ask you, however. What is it? Haven't we already started the live stream? Oh, you're right. Oh Sorry. man, that's a great detail. Look at that. Hello, everyone. This is Sh When Rappi is talking, a chest is moving. Dee, your host for the second anniversary live stream. Thank you for joining us for this special occasion, in which we're also celebrating the launch of the satellite. And I'm Rappi, your co host. We are currently at the Pretender Rocket Launch Command Room, where we're bringing you an exclusive live broadcast. What you just saw on the screen was a successful rocket launch. At this very moment, the counter satellite on board said rocket is soaring into the sky, carrying the dreams of all the Ark residents. What was once a dream has now become a reality. Wait. Since we're working to free the surface of raptures, but they're going to space. But weren't the raptures also from space? Are we building something in space to fight back the raptures on the surface? I, I don't know. B? The counter satellite launch project is a joint initiative between the commander and the counters to enhance the ARC's information monitoring capabilities. Oh, okay. This is a test launch to help substantiate the information we currently have on hand. Many unknown challenges await us in the future. That's right. We've just taken our first step. It's hard to believe this is your first time hosting, Rappi. Good You're job, Rappi. You're it like a pro. It's my first time, but given that I'm here on the commander's order, I'm intent on doing my best. <laughs> You're as reliable as ever. But I have to say, the, the voices sound a little... like a little bit muffled. Not as clear as usually. It's no wonder you were chosen over the other candidates. Hmm. Or maybe it was because I'm the only Nike who could fit into this uniform. Oh! Uh, Anyway, back to the main topic. The rocket launch was successful, but... Will the rocket successfully carry the counter satellite into orbit? Let's check in with the pilot in the cockpit to share the current status of the counter satellite in there detail. Is a, there's a pilot in this? W what? Like someone is in the rocket? Sorry to keep y'all waiting. This is the pilot, Anis, coming to you live from the cockpit. What? No way! <laughs> Anis is the one piloting the rocket? They say she was chosen because she had experience with relevant simulators. But actually, she did read a few books on rockets. Um, any chance you could turn down the mics in the command room? It's a bit noisy. I like Rappi, uh, Annie's outfit. It reminds me of the one, um, the, what is it called again? Was it Orca Tech or something in uh, Stellar Blade? Like, this one outfit I really liked. It looks like that. Thanks. Now then, this here, folks, is the highlight of today's live stream. As the name indicates, the Pretender rocket has been specifically outfitted with camouflage technology so that it closely resembles a rapture. Thanks oh. to that, it hasn't been intercepted by any nearby raptures so far. So far. In fact, we've just overcome another hurdle. The rocket has successfully separated its booster, and everything is looking normal so far. Some of you might be wondering what booster separation is. That's why I prepared a small presentation in advance. Program list. Countess in the spotlight sharing precious data with the universe. The ARC's official battle data report for the second anniversary. Okay. Preview from the ARC, a more convenient and safer future. All right. Secrets behind the counters. A time of prosperity. Okay. The program sponsor will give away perks from time to time. Please stay tuned. Uh... 10 advanced recruit branches. Ah, oh, ah, nice. So that's what we get, right? Good. Yeah, Anissa's is looking great. Why don't we take a look at the notes I put together? Oh. 
I say that makes it all nice and digestible. Wouldn't you? I mean, figurine announcement. Hey, how come I can still hear you all in the command room? That's the program schedule I prepared. That was supposed to be revealed later. Huh? Uh. And my notes? Where did my lovingly crafted notes, which I spent seven days and nights painstakingly creating, disappear to? Uh, it, did I leave it in the changing room while I was swapping outfits? I've heard you've been misplacing things a lot lately. I guess there's truth to the rumors. It's okay. Even without the notebook, everyone can just listen to my explanation. <laughs> uh, anyway, the Pretender rocket will enter its intended orbital path after two ignition and four separation phases. Every one of these stages, down to the most minute detail, poses a significant challenge. I'll stay on the line all the way and keep you updated. Like, I feel like Annie's outfit had a certain... How to say... You know... Like, the, you know, Vinny made a certain emote for that. I feel like... There's been some upgrades. <laughs> I hope none of our sponsors complain about that little flub of mine. Which companies are backing us again? Yeah, which ones are that? The project sponsors want to gauge the public's response first and plan to reveal themselves only after the rocket launch is successful. Ugh, why are they always so cagey about everything? It only makes my job harder. Shifty. You do realize that it's cut back to us, right? <laughs> Pay that last bit no mind, Commanders. It's just a... That goddamn bit of face. ...performance on Anissa's part. <laughs> it's all part of the show. Thanks to Anissa's stellar acting, more viewers are tuning in. Uh -huh. This was all staged... To, to my stream? Everyone. Tell everyone you know, and even people you don't know, to watch my stream. We are on the way, like we have to get between 50 to 100 viewers again. So I can remain relevant to companies so they stop ghosting me. To ensure that more people would join in this historic wait, moment, what's that? commemorating the counter satellite's journey into space. Whoa, wait, what's that? Oh. Hey, that's like a that's like a real life gift. A pin, a mirror, a crystal ball, 20 notebooks, a pen, a sticker? Oh? Okay, that's cute. Wait, repost the tweet. Share your heart until I'm late. Okay, anyways, uh, that, that looks cool. Commander, please be sure to spread the word about our live stream to more ARC citizens. Still our acting. Hope is that Still this late. program will provide a sense of unity among the I understand. They're trying to get rid of iPhones so they don't have to produce any more of them, you know, so people can start getting proper phones. Mm -hmm. Like, the Google Pixel 8. The citizens, as they cheer for the this might be an ad by Google. And wish for a peaceful future for the Ark. So, all they've got to do is share this live stream and they get a chance to win prizes? That's right. <laughs> no wonder Neon has been borrowing everyone's phones. Uh, anyway, we just received some new information from the cockpit. The Let's cockpit. hand it back over to Anise. Ember, do you see the cockpit? Preparing for fairing separation. Three, <gasps> two, one. Ember, rocket separate. launch. Oh, no, wait, it's separation just a separation successful. of a thingy. All departments, report tracking Ember, data. Ember, the rocket has completed two separations so far, and all readings are You're staring, normal. respectfully. Of data, I heard that the counter satellite contains some special data. Could you tell us more as to what the data is, Anise? Of course. Commander would approve it. The counter satellite is accumulation of the cumulative knowledge and efforts of innumerable individuals. That's it a lot is of a words. collective dream that we all share. Use it whenever necessary. So I came well prepared. Don't worry. I double checked everything this time, so there won't be any more mix ups. Entertainment. I know that tune. The CEO of Tetra Line speaking. This it's the man. You all result of the performance you've been waiting for. I'm finally here. 
Let's check it out together. The Nikkei with the highest bond, the most advice. Wait, wait. And the performance you've been waiting for, I'm finally here. Let's check it out together. Okay, so the Nikkei with the highest bond level, Rapi, Anis, and Privacy. How? Oh, uh, why Privacy? The most advised Nikkei, Rapi, Anis, Privacy. Was Privacy like the first banner or something like that? I can see what Rapi and Anis, you know? It's free from challenges, I guess. Oh. The Nikkei that's most often set as lobby wallpaper. Modernia, Dorothy, Scarlet. Good choices. The Nikkei who's added to the wish list the most. Litter, Alice. Just two? The SSR Nikkei who was most frequently deployed. Modernia, Litter, Scarlet. Good. Alice! Well, still... Today's the day we launch this hunk of scrap into space, showing the whole universe... Like she's still evil, right? ...our Mycillus technology. Uh, I guess I'll read out your achievements, just for the heck of it. Since the CEO of Mycillus is taking the time to read it, you better listen with gratitude. Uh, total playtime of Commanders Worldwide. That's a lot of, um... Thirst. Total numbers of rounds won in battles, total numbers of battle data used by commanders, total number of core dust used by commanders, total number of credits used by commanders. This is Ingrid. We must now devise the ultimate set of space tactics to excel in space operations. Now, so let we, me ask you, how are we many actually times going to space? did I say tactical? Three times? The most selected buff in the simulation room. Oh, okay. Uh, average number of floors cleared in travel tower. Oh, okay. Next. Next slide. Mm, raids. Battle connected. Union raid. Okay. Custom modules. Cleared in spell. Ranking of boss kills and special interception. Chatterbox. This time, I'll be highlighting your everyday achievements. Let's take a look at your efforts off the battlefield and what you've accomplished with the Nikkeis in your daily life. Yeah. The commander with the highest number of collection achievement has a total of 712. Diligent commanders, commanders who achieved 100 activity daily over the past year. Those are rookie numbers. Friendly commanders, commanders who gifted social points to friendly daily of the past year. What? Like, people, you gotta use that social tool more. Most played song on the jukebox, Floral Tribute. Told them if that's a subject recruited from molds. Oh, okay, that's, that's a lot. Highest score in Gift Factory? Wait. What was Gift Factory? I wasn't playing then. Barbecue Master. I haven't. I didn't do Barbecue Happy Master either. Fine. I suppose congratulations are in order. Let's celebrate tactically. Wishing you a great second anniversary. Hey. My first proper Wait. anniversary. Are the commander's work records what we're sending into space? Are you sure you showed us the right thing, Anise? Hmm. I didn't go through all the data, but I could still see how much the commander cares about and takes care of us, Nikes. These records more than sufficiently highlight how the commander is working together with Nikes to build a new future for humanity. That's we right. wouldn't be anywhere if it weren't for the commander. Heck, this live stream wouldn't have happened today if it weren't for the commander. Commander, on behalf of all Nikes, I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude. They mean me. Thank I'm you. the commander. We'd also like to thank the central government for their support in the counter-satellite launch project. What do you mean you're the we commander too? We also extend our heartfelt gratitude to Missilis, Elysion, and Tetra for funding the project and providing technical support. Great news! We just received word from Ingrid, the CEO of Elysion. 
To celebrate the rocket launch, Elysion will be giving a special gift oh. to everyone watching this live stream. There we go. I redeemed all the codes already. So the commander can see it better. I've yes, got it all. Of course. Commander, be sure to jot down this code to receive your gift. Stay tactical. Right, when I play Nikkei, like, uh, you know, after this live stream, we got a whole bunch of pulls to make. Yeah, yeah. Since Elysion is handing out gifts, I'm sure the other companies are preparing something too. <laughs> I have a feeling that a shower of gifts will be raining down during this program. Why don't we check back with the Pretender Rocket? Hmm. Preparing for a second stage separation. Three, two, one. Separation uh... successful. All departments, report tracking data. No problems. All data readings, normal. Uh-oh. What's happening? The rocket isn't responding. <laughs> Cockpit, report your status. I... I can't control it. I'm picking up an outside signal. Analyze it. Analyzing now. What could it be? I'm not sure. Mm, this isn't some kind of prank, is it? If it is, it's not funny. I doubt that. Analysis complete. Sending findings your way. Got it. What? Wait. There's some noise. Ah, I can't see anything. Oh? Huh? Mirror, mirror. What is the happiest memory? Oh. Wait. Wait, who's that? Tell me more. Mirror, mirror. But like mirror, mirror, that's um. Is that Snow White? No, wait. That was like one of those. The 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 tail things, you know. What is the most beautiful existence? It's the goddesses that Yeah! Black Shadow Scarlet is so cool. Mirror, mirror. Who is the most... It's her! It's Anachiro! Uh... Cinderella! Beautiful person in this world. Wait, hold on. I mean, <laughs> you know, I think we should really try and appreciate that they managed to, you know, there's a mirror and, you know, in games, like a mirror doesn't work like real life. You have to like actually render both sides, right? So that's interesting, you know, a technical marvel right here. She's actually getting glass slippers. Cinderella, snap out of it! Wake up! Cinderella! Rewrite her own story. Well, that was cool. There's a lot of content. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean... You know, Cinderella is a uh, well endowed with her slippers. Yeah, yeah, just that. Um, but is the mirror mirror thing from the Cinderella tale? I, I forgot. It's too long. But uh, you know, this is a very strong image. You know, like there's some uh, big buildings in the background. And why is this one standing on a ball? Let's go back. Let's go back. Wait. Hold on. The one I'm hiding with my face on the right. Is that Pina? But she was like a regular Nikki, so she can't be, but... Totally looks like it. Hmm. Glass slippers. Full contact. So she's going to be our SSR, right? Like the new one? The new limited. It was a cool cutscene, I like it. 
Also, I like that song. Old Tales. With you looking after me, I will stay beautiful for eternity. My suspicion? Well, first of this is really cool, because also, as you, as you know, I just played through Red Ash and stuff, and so I finally figured out who that is. Um, so that's nice. My assumption is that Pina looking like person helped her, you know, snapping out of being on a Chiro and destroying everything. Yeah, let's go with that. And it's going to be an event to be played between. The Squad Old Tales debuting in the story event Old Tales. There we go. Oh my god. So these ones on the right, look at that. They are too strong. They are just too damn strong. They had to put the light on them, you know, otherwise we would be blinded. Okay, so we got Red Shoes, Little Mermaid, Cinderella, Hansel and Gretel. Hey, hey my, my mother used to, to call me and my brother Hansel because our names are like similar, you know? Is she the better one? Hansel, Gretel? Hmm. Hmm, I seem to be having the same hair. Just one of them has bigger um, uh, ribbons. Yeah. You look just like, oh, thank you. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Red shoes be interesting since that'd be Dorothy related in the fairy tales. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. Little Mermaid looks pretty cool too. I mean, obviously Cinderella is cool because she's got this like very, I don't know, like a little bit like manufactured alien look to herself. But yeah, yeah, I think I'm a very pretty princess. Yes, I could become a Nikkei. Old Tales special animation. There is more? Like a proper animation coming? Good. What just happened? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. We're getting some kind of interference. From the people that did the Nia anime series. Nice. This is concerning. Command room, I've analyzed and sent over another video feed. Got it. Play it. Darn. We're still getting interference. We oh. want to know if you're okay. Ugh, you're really getting on my nerves. Robbie? Robbie, there's one. Of Wait. Whoa, what was that? Hold on, let's let's go back. Rappi, there's none of the old Rappi left, is there? In case there's something happening in the next chapters, like in the story, don't spoil it. I'm still very early on. For me, a nobody to take the place of a hero who was every... No sense. So you're the ones. What? What did you do? Such a hard time. Harmony cube. Activate. Yeah, I still don't know anything about the cube things. Like I'm not there. Last slippers. Full contact. Finished. Let's move to the mission area. Oh. Oh, what is going on? There's some upgrades. Yunwa, you took your forehead and you exchanged it for like midriff free now. Nice, good stuff, good, very nice. That's great. And um, I forgot who the right and left one were. She was, uh, hold on, it's, is it Emma? I think this one's Emma, right? Emma and Vesti, there we go. Well, you know, I mean, it was, it was a cool outfit, Emma. Yeah, yeah. But that Yunwa style, like, that's I've great. I misunderstood the meaning of what you passed on to me. Now I know. My friends showed me the way. Oh. I'm, I'm interested to find out what that's about. <sighs> This one's not showing either. Anis, are you sure you sent the right one? How would I know? 
Don't forget that we're live. Don't send just any random video to us. How in the world am I supposed to know whether it's an important video or not? All right, all right. How are things going up there, Anise? Good news! I've regained control of the rocket. It's incredible. The rocket automatically entered the first stage of its planned trajectory. Overall condition is looking stable as well. During that whole process, I picked up several more unintelligible signals. I've sent them to the tech team, and they're analyzing them now. Got it. We'll wait. While okay. we wait, let's watch a promotional video sent from the Ark. Hell yeah. Updates. Story event update. New story event, all tales. I'm excited, like... I hope it's voiced. Because story events I've done so far, they were great. But even stuff like the summer event and... Uh, what's the other one I did? Uh, Kingdom. They were so good. Oh, and you fly around a Cinderella. That's nice. New Nikkei's. Oh, okay. As suspected, Cinderella. And also, Grave? I, I don't know who Grave is. And Rapunzel, pure grace. Get for free! What? Three! Is this Rapunzel before she, um... Was reading certain uh, magazines? Gaze upon me, my audience. I'm so beautiful today. I like it. Yeah, I think we get a... Yeah, we get a pool for Cinderella. Okay, so this is grave. Now, I'm ready to rewrite our story. I will do anything that disrupts victory. Pretty bad. It's time to punish the sinners. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Take a look without my face in the way and just, um, um uh, you know... Uh, hold on, hold on. Enjoy. The sinners. What the? <laughs> have a blessed day as well. What's that? Blessed? Oh, blessed. Hey. Hey. Isabel honeymoon party? The killer wife secret party? You know, just just a you know couple couple days ago, um. I got Isabel. Like, actually, I got Isabel because my girlfriend was pulling for her. She was pulling me D Killer Wife as my first, uh, my first five star, right? First SSR, and then Isabel now. Like, she knew. She knew this was coming. Yeah. It is time for the flower to bloom. Yes! 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 <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes! Now that's a bonus I haven't seen. Um. Shine brightly for my radiant self. New heretic boss B, Humeth. I didn't know, like, I thought he was, you know, he was out there playing Diablo. Now he's like a heretic boss? What? What? Okay, I just want to take a very quick moment here and, uh... So there is new skins. I reckon there's a skin. For these two. It is time for the flower to bloom. Black Shadow Scarlet. Okay, so that's a new skin for her. All right. I think that's the first skin I actually have to get. Like, this is just super cool. Like, her character design was the one where I was like, yeah, this is badass. Like, I want to be Black Shadow Scarlet. If I was a Nikkei, I would want to be that. Shine brightly for my radiant self. I was pretty strong. Pretty strong outfit. Yep. DPS increase. It's good.
But here we go. Next thing, come on. Mini game and some Metroidvania. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. New chapters 33, 34. Oh, man, I gotta pick up the pace. Anniversary outpost? Oh, we're partying. Good. We like that. Annual event and update optimization. Ooh, newly launched arcade of minigames. Arcade of minigames? Bonus recruit? Oh, nice. Very nice. Although I've got I've got Naga and Alice already like SSR, like limit break full. Uh, but later, however, I only get one, I think. Nice. Skill reset time, limited event starts now. Added new story event to archives. First affection, New Year's new sword. A New Year new sword is the Scarlet one, right? Oh. There. There it is. Yes. Memory of Goddess. Good. Going on that first affection picture. So you should wait with the blue tickets till the second anniversary. When is it happening? In a day or two, right? Yeah, I gotta do New Year New Sword. That that was cool. Stay tuned for more anniversary celebrations. More? More? Wow. Seems like they prepared some opportunities to give everyone oh, a nice boost extra. in the combat right. department. Looks like there's all sorts of fun content in store. It's on Wednesday. No decorations for the outpost, huh? <sighs> I hope no one fights over them. To be honest, I prefer if they gave us more tools that we could actually use. Like, for example, instruments to maintain all the commander figures. Some of our fellow Nikkeis are so fond of those figures that they end up breaking them by mistake. It's a bit unnerving, to be honest. Wait, what? How in the world do they end up breaking them? Uh, Wait. No. On second thought, don't tell me. Did someone mention commander figures? Nobody mess with mine! I take really good care of it! Don't worry, that won't happen. And once again, don't forget that we're live. Uh, <laughs> we've deciphered some of those signals. I'll play them now. Oh, <laughs> it appears to be a video about new Nikkeis and costumes. New Nikkeis. Cinderella. Music. Just get a rocket launcher. But she's shooting that light kind of stuff. That is so cool. Holy shit. She's doing full disco lights. That's badass. And the whole bakery. Okay, grave. Let's go full power. I don't know who she is. I haven't seen her in the story at all, but she seems badass. He is Rapunzel. What do you do? Defender. I'm, I'm censoring the video for you. New costumes. Cinderella Glass Princess. It's pretty. Certainly pretty. Oh, it's, it's got a different cutscene. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> Scarlet Black Shadow, let's go! Coming soon? How soon? Oh, she's got the moon going on. She's like me, for real. Isabel, honeymoon party? D 
D Killer Waifu, Secret Party Cleaner. Hold on a moment. Target eliminated. But she's got the same cutscene. It's just an outfit. The first animation didn't change. Aww. Anise, calm down. Really good then. Calm down? After what I just saw? Are you kidding? These shameless... Oh, wait, wait, wait. So if it has a new cutscene, it means it's a gacha skin. Oh, okay. I'm not accustomed enough to it yet. You see, I'm still keeping my whale close to my heart for now. But for that... That scarlet skin, though... I think he has to come out. These are trying all sorts of things to seduce the commander. That's it. Exactly. Back right now and hold and back, Whale. Get a hold of yourself. Hold back. S sorry, I lost my composure for a moment. Besides, any attack you initiate would be best done from outside the atmosphere. Is the shuttle equipped with any weapons? Uh, I'll check. What are you two talking about? Mm, anyway. We've just received some new information about the enemies. Shall we take a look? What? New boss. Behemoth. That's pretty freaky. The count is gonna need the arc out of jealousy. Turns into a bull. Oh, that's, that's, like, seriously, Scarlet is just so cool. Like, I'm easy to please. I'm like, it's Katana character. That's gonna be cool. How are we supposed to defeat those guys if Rappy can't even take them down? I told you that I'll make them pay. Besides, we have a few new recruits with us now. Victory is ours. New recruits, you say? Any chance we could get a sneak peek? Sure. I have a recording of a battle simulation I can show you. Oh? Oh, Sinrena uses glass slippers as a decoy and gains buffs to strengthen herself. Also, they... Oh, okay. Nice. Cinderella uses glass slippers as a decoy. Glass resistant mirror. So let me shoot those things instead of her? Cinderella's burst skill allows her to use the buffs obtained from a glass of us to deal significant damage to enemies. Oh. Seems badass. Grave is a supporter who enhances herself through normal attacks and provides buffs for allies with pierce attacks. Good. We like that. When using a burst skill, Grave launches powerful pierce attacks and strengthens her allies. Neat. And her bullets look like they look giant. Plot spoiler. When maintaining full charge status, Rapunzel pure grace restores the shield and enhances her allies' attack power. Okay, cool. And she's free. Rapunzel who graces a defender who uses a burst skill to generate a fortified shield for allies. We like that. Yeah, we just played through the story in Red Ash, so I, I know what that means. So Behemoth's gonna be like a boss similar to Alt Eisen and stuff, right? Wait, wait. <laughs> I just noticed. I just noticed a certain je ne sais quoi. They were censoring Cinderella's ass. Good. Very nice. They just tell you, like, hey, if, if you get that skin, I mean, not even that skin. It's a basic skin. If you get that Nikkei, you're going to have a good time and the difficulty playing the game in public. A difficulty? 
or a claim to dominance. Oh, here we go. In the mirror, a minigame in the Metroidvania genre. Control the red-eyed Nikkei who uses glass shoes as she ex glass shoes as she explores a maze-like world to achieve a goal. I like Metroidvanias. This seems awesome. Nice. So, um... We live in a world where we get a Nikkei Metroidvania before Silksong. That's the way Welcome it is. Back. I'm currently live from the Pretender Rocket Cockpit. We've had our ups and downs, but all the readings have stabilized. You know, and that, that thing in the, the back is actually moving. Completed. The tech team has looked into why the rocket went haywire for a bit, and why we received unidentified signals. And they don't have a clue. Unbelievable. Whatever they're getting paid, it's too much. Anyway, we haven't received any new signals since then. That's a relief. Shifty, didn't you have some more good news to share with everyone? Oh, yes. To celebrate the Pretender Rocket returning to normal, Mustang, the CEO of Tetra, has sent us a gift. Another coat. Entertainment. Good man. Very nice. Nine E's. Entertainment. Such modest benefits. Isn't that just a nice way of saying he's being stingy? But that wasn't what I meant. Well, at any rate, speaking of Mustang, he personally reached out to some artists just for us. Oh. How about we have a quick chat with these mystery individuals? Interview with a voice actor. Oh. Hello, Commanders. How beautiful to see you all. Hey, everyone. I'm Caitlin Robronk, and I voice Cinderella. Very excited to be a new goddess of victory. My feeling when acting as Cinderella was that we discovered who she was our first time in the booth, and... We built her where she always carried herself as elegant and striving to be good at heart, but also fighting the essence of Anichiro inside her. Oh. The line that impressed me the most went like this. I'll just take a few more looks in the mirror before I head out. Because regardless of the situation, Cinderella must always reassure herself by gazing into a mirror. Cinderella has been anticipated wow. by Nikkei players for a long time, and I feel very excited and, and very honored to be trusted with such a mysterious character like her, because now we finally get to meet her and know her story. There are so many fun characters in this game, and one of my favorite is actually my original character, Helm. I really love playing her, and her summer story was a lot of fun. And she has this leadership role and, and how she relies on her friends in order to overcome any self-doubt. When voicing Cinderella, Hell, there aren't many difficulties at all. I mostly use my natural voice, but I do lower it a bit for that elegance Cinderella has inside of her, with a particular way of inflection that to me feels slightly unworldly, like maybe from another time period. And it makes her a unique person among all the other Nikkeis. If I may, I'd like to say something for all of the Nikkei players out there about this second anniversary. Thank you so much to everyone for being so supportive of Nikkei, and congratulations on two wonderful years! There is still a lot more to come, so buckle up and get ready, Commanders. Commanders? Plural? There's more than Hello, one. Hello, Commanders. Good to see you all. Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Chu, and I am from The Little Red Dot, Singapore. And I voice Grave. It's been an absolute thrill to lend my voice to such a mysterious and captivating character. I'm really excited to continue exploring all the layers and nuances that make Grave so intriguing. I think one of Grave's most impressive lines is... Humans are deceitful creatures. You steal from the dead and besmirch their reputations. Which really highlights the pain and mistrust she feels. She's been hurt by humans in the past, and 
This line perfectly captures that bitterness and guardedness. Voicing this moment was challenging because it carries so much emotion, but in a very restrained way. It's not just anger, it's a deep sense of betrayal, which adds layers to her character and shows how complex her relationship with humanity really is. So in Nike, I also voiced Drilly, who is a really fun, really uh, like your best friend, but She's also carrying really around a kind of character. Although I also Drilly play her, my favorite character has to be Grave, because there's something about Grave that really resonates with me. Whether the it's her quiet strength or humans. the complexity of her story, I feel a strong connection to her every time I step into the recording booth. It's been an amazing experience voicing both characters, but Graves' depth and journey really makes her stand out as my personal favorite. To all the Nikkei players, <clears throat> happy second anniversary! It's been an incredible journey, and I'm so grateful to be part of this amazing community. Watching the game evolve and seeing how much passion you all have for it has been inspiring. I can't wait for what's in store as we continue to explore the world of Nikkei together. Thank you for your support, and here's to many more years of excitement, growth, and new adventures. You know what? We should get this message out there to shift up. If they are looking for someone to potentially voice another commander and give it a little bit of a German accent, I can probably do it. Or if they're ever looking for someone to, you know, actually like German voice act the commander. Come on, let's get the message out there to shift up and tell them like, come on, I want to be a Nikkei. No, wait, I want to be a commander. I want to be one of the commanders. Like one of them. Could be anyone. Okay. Or a Nikkei. Let's get an edgy Nikkei, okay? For some reason, sounds like, you know... Let's do it, all right? So, um, shift up if you, you know. Um, my email address is in the somewhere. Mail at uphoenix.de. DMs are always open. Come on. I want to do it. I want to become the edgy commander. Hello, dear commanders. It is a blessing to be in your presence. I hope you are all well, and may you find strength and grace in all that you do. Remember, you are never alone. Aww. My heart is with each of you, always. Hey, I'm Tamara Fritz. I'm a voice actress, and I've had an absolute blast working on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. I love diving into characters and bringing them to life, and this one has been such a fun ride. I want to do that, Voicing too. Voicing Rapunzel in her pure grace form has been such a rewarding experience. This version of her shows a completely different side. She's saintly, nurturing, and filled with maternal love before Red Hood's influence alters her path. <laughs> Bringing out that purity and benevolence in her voice was an exciting challenge because it adds a lot of depth to her character. I'm really excited for fans to discover this version of Rapunzel. They'll get to see how she starts as this warm, caring figure, which makes her journey and eventual transformation even more impactful. I feel she's like There's she's still very caring. That contrast to life. The line that impressed me the most is, um, Red Hood keeps recommending forbidden books to me. It's rather troubling. It stands out because it captures Rapunzel's internal conflict. This isn't just a scene moment, but more of a story plot that hints at her gradual transformation. The line reveals how Red Hood's influence is pushing her beyond her comfort zone, challenging her proper and dutiful nature. Hey, I mean, that's just what friends should do, right? A glimpse of her character development as she grapples with the tension between curiosity and discomfort. Oh, absolutely. Uh, one of my favorite characters has to be Lilla Wires. I, I might be a bit biased since I voice her too. I was just thinking, like, she sounds like Lily Wires as well. The Mecha Destructor. The strongest Nikkei. But there's just something so captivating about her. Her accent, her charm, and her wit. She's sharp, determined, and always thinking on her feet. I love how she balances elegance with strength, and her playful yet confident attitude makes her so fun to voice. While Rapunzel has her grace and power, Lillowise brings a unique, 
energy that's irresistible. As yeah, we like, celebrate the second anniversary of Nike, I just believe I say seemed thank really you cool. to all the players for your incredible support. It's been a joy to be a part of this world, and I can't wait for you all to experience even more stories, characters, and moments that we've worked so hard to bring to life. May you continue to find grace and strength in all that you do. Oh, thank more you, Rapunzel. Together. Wow. These are the people who provided technical support for the Nikkei's voice modules. That's what we they do. We can't thank them enough. I However, see. Tetra still has some more surprises in store for us. Mustang spent a small fortune to produce a theme song specifically for this second anniversary. What? He doesn't sing in it, does he? <laughs> I hope not. Huh? Is wait, wait, what? <laughs> Is this gonna mute this? You know the vod. Is this is this gonna mute it? Not the full thing, right? Let's just a preview. La 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 la. Hmm. What an uplifting tune. Actually, something about it feels familiar. Wait a minute. That melody. That Sears voice. Could it be? Congratulations on second anniversary from Yama. Every Nikkei story carries mankind's hope. Oh, she did a Spy Family season 2 outro? Nice. That's a cool mask. How did we get to space? How did that happen? I want to go to space. これからも人気を楽しんでください。一緒にオリジンもぜひ楽しんで聞いていただきたいなと思います。コメントや感想お待ちしています。以上、山でした。バイ、山。バイ。はい、I Currently, the third stage rocket is igniting and heading towards its final orbit. Let's go! Oh. As I mentioned before, this launch was intended as a test. No one expected it to go this far. I'm sure we have the enthusiastic support of Masilis' CEO, Suin, to thank for that. Speak of the devil, we've just received word from Masilis. To celebrate Siwin. the impressive performance of the Pretender rocket, Masilis has also prepared a surprise for all of you. First, here is a gift code that everyone can use. Masilis, only Masilis can do. Uh huh. But hey, 10 free vouchers? Nice. Hmm. And they've also invited Those codes are still a valid. special guest. Um, cool. Given the circumstances, should we take a short break? Understood. Why don't we get ourselves a cup of tea? Ooh, sounds good. Ooh. -hoo. Wait, what are we watching in the meantime? This was the the dev interview, right? I think this is the part we are skipping, right? Chigan Yorobun, Yangaseo, Sunio Shinike, Director Yangsokimida. Is spoilers in there? I can't do that.
But also it's a bit tricky because there's subtitles so people can read it up if they're interested. Since this is a reward to begin with. Um... Wait, wait. Is there more coming? We're getting some fan art. <laughs> oh my god, seriously, like, um... That's some well-placed confetti. Let me tell you what. Wait, that is that fan art? Like, did someone make this statue themselves? This is grand. This thing on the left, yeah, this is real art right here. This is good. Wait, there's Red Hood and Rappi next to each other. Hmm. Probably just um to talk about interesting stuff. I'm at spoilery and I gotta wait for it. I gotta wait. I'll I'll try to hurry up getting through the story though. Yes, like Shadow Scarlet. I want to be. Black Shadow Scarlet. Video Creator Contest. Oh. Most Sun Pro. This one's doing great stuff. Oh, snap. It's just like. I like a YouTube avatar almost. Someone, wait, what? I thought like someone did that video. I thought it was like from Shift Up itself. There's a bunch of good stuff in here. Good work. Hmm. What a wonderful gift. Truly. And there's more. These are from popular creators. They mean me. Music is great and all, but we have to skip that for the sake of the live stream. Two. One. Oh. Separation. All departments, report the tracking data. No issues detected. Just one final step, and the counter satellite will enter its final orbit. Command room, are you listening? Can you hear me, Commander? Yes. Yes, we hear you loud and clear. I'm the commander. Not just us, but everyone watching their screens, and all of the citizens of the Ark have heard you. We've just received a congratulatory message from the central government. Because this launch has been such an unprecedented success, the central Oswald. government has decided to hold a special in-person celebratory event. There are still some details to be ironed out, but let's reveal it anyway. Wait, what's that? Okay, North America. Oh! America. Boba? Why Canada and the United States? Oh! What about Germany? We got a nice brand here called Come By. They already did like call-ups with other games. You know, they, they could totally hit them up. Will you be attending as well, Commander? I get it now. There's a chance we might bump into the Commander there, right? 
We must always be prepared for the unexpected. Oh, this might sound a bit random, but have you heard? It's a long walk. We've got figures of our own coming out. Oh. Why don't you focus on the controls instead of blurting out random announcements? Figures? What? Figure production? All right. Uh, Noah and Blank, Bunny, Virgin. I, I mean, I'm Team Schoolgirl still, you know? The bunnies are strong, but Team Schoolgirl. My desire to buy those has soared in this space. Oh. Modernia looks cool. Very cool. I mean, Unis are strong too, obviously. Obviously. Pre order start from October 22nd. Like, the pre order started before the stream was even live. Further than the Pretender Rocket. I didn't know you were into that sort of stuff. Oh, hey. Oh, Figma Scarlet. That's cool. And Cinderella. What is that? It's like a proper pre prepped statue. That's cool. Modernia First Affection as well. They want our money. There it is. They want our money. They want to place themselves somewhere in there. Or are you just saying that for the show? It's not just for the show. Character trading card game? Vice Schwartz? Hey, look, I know what that means because I am Deutsch. White, black. It means white and black. Schwartz and Weiss. Weiss and Schwartz. <laughs> Trial deck booster pack? Oh. So they have a proper trading card game? Man. There's so many trading card games now. Well, usually I only see you guys through a screen. Having an opportunity to meet me. But like they made a German because they want me to get it. He gaze up close like today is quite rare. I'd love to have a little mini Nikkei beside me. That way, whenever I'm acting as an operator for you guys in the future, it'll feel like we're really together. Also, it's perfectly reasonable for me to feel this way. After all, Nikkei's love having commander dolls. I'm sure everyone has a similar desire to be close to the commander, don't you think? Uh -oh. What you're saying does make sense. You bet it does. It'd be great if we could get as many Nikkeis as possible to get their own figurines. Give them big stats? I haven't surprise. gotten to it yet. I haven't gotten them stronger yet. Oh? Wait. What is happening? Focus. They're so talented. What is that? Nikkei concert? Oh, man. We know Nikkei has really good music. All right, bring it on. Come on. Make one in Berlin. Wait. Japan and Korea? Damn! No, we want Berlin! That's a cool picture, though. I like that. We want Berlin! Okay, some of you might want London or something, I don't know. I want they Berlin! Finally holding a concert. Wow, they're really doing this? I can't believe it! This is like a dream come true. I'm really looking forward to it. As am I. Rapunzel Pure Grace, 4 plus 173 recruit opportunity. Wait, what? 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 There's a lot of numbers on the screen. Participate in minigame? Finish 14 day sign in? Distributed login? Participate? Holy shit, that's that's a lot of uh, a lot of free polls. Oh, and you can get a Rapunzel Pure Grace or Snow White free? I didn't expect this. I had no idea the central government would prepare such lavish gifts. That's it makes big perfect stuff. sense to me. This launch has been a smashing success so far. Yeah, Behemoth, you're in the game now. We're at Hello. the last stage. The counter satellite should be able to enter its designated orbit soon. Right, Anise? 
That's right. Everyone, let's share this final thrilling moment together. Preparing to deploy solar panels in three, two, one. Panel deployment successful. But hold your horses. We still have one more surprise for the commander. Huh? What's going on? Uh, these little things are great. Is there a problem? The satellite successfully entered the designated orbit, but the detection camera and sensor system aren't responding. Oh, so no. the launch was successful, but the satellite won't function as intended? If that's true, the central government might cancel the offline event they just announced. Don't forget that this launch was meant to be a test. The fact An that offline event? This far has exceeded everyone's oh, that's probably going to be Korea and Japan if again. We can determine the cause of the issue. We'll be able to achieve near perfect results next time. Darn. It's a bit disappointing. I feel like we could have done more. Oh, but still, everyone look! This is the camera installed on the satellite. Right now, all we can see is white noise. Oh. However, even if it's only static, it's static from space nonetheless. Therefore, I say we call it the white noise space edition. That's right. If we analyze right. those patterns on the screen, we could potentially gather some useful information. Well, despite that minor hiccup at the end, overall, this launch mission was a resounding success. Wait a minute. Some information just came in. The broadcasting room just informed us that the number of views has hit an all-time high. Damn Everyone right. Everyone is watching the counter satellite from their screens. Everyone. Did you hear that, Anise? You bet I did. That means we can't give up now. Each department, inspect your systems from top to bottom for any issues. We have to do this. For the Ark. They have questions, and they deserve an answer from us. Uh, huh? Is this what space looks like? Yes, that's right. Did they actually shoot a satellite into space? For the long journey ahead. Hello, Prince. Can you see my beautiful self? It may seem hard to believe, but I'm in outer space right now. There, amongst the stars, my greatest enemy awaits me. She is formidable beyond any conceivable measure, but I can defeat her. I will definitely emerge victorious. What? Because I have the best supporter watching over me. I promise that I will bring you... The most beautiful victory of all. The commander's messages will be there throughout the journey. What? 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 Is it actually people that wrote on Twitter? Wait. This was an actual rocket? They send messages to space? The hopes and wishes sent by the commanders will become stars gathering into a vast ocean. Shining and twinkling above us. I didn't know I wanted to send a message to space too. For those on the journey, you will never get lost and you will always see. May this journey remain beautiful forever. Nice. From underground to the great beyond of space, we've come a long way. Yeah, but why? I'm, I'm a little out of the loop here. This is how the story should go. Although, it'd be a bit anticlimactic for it to end here, don't you think? Shouldn't we leave something up here as a memento? Hmm. That's a good idea. I'll contact everyone. Okay. I'll print them out as they arrive. Nikes, are you all watching? Send us your messages, and Anise will print them in space. Your words will reside in the vastness of space above us. 
acting as an enduring reminder, an undying motivator, for us to continue forging a path ahead. Wow, we're getting quite a lot of messages. Printing them out now. What? What? So imagine there's like, you know, there's some aliens running around space, right? And they find the satellite and they're like, Huh? Tactical. What firepower? Where? CD key? The chaos satellite. Wait, how, I, how did I not know this was, this was happening? Can you play in the chaos space? Don't right nonsense! That's a cute picture. So, we go into space? Oh. Yeah! Is that the outro? Because... I, I don't think we can listen to the song. We're gonna get, um... We're gonna get hit with the uh, the stream mute. That was the end of it, and that was great. Very good, great anniversary. I like that. Um, God damn, that's some good stuff in there. We gotta get playing. Yeah. Everyone who watched my video right here of me reacting to the Goddess of Victory Nikkei's second anniversary live stream, thank you very much for watching it. In case you're watching this in the future on YouTube, come on over to Twitch sometime. We we tend to have fun here on Twitch. Um and now, right after this, we're gonna play some more. Goddess of Victory. Nikkei! Imagine if I become the commander, man. I wanna... I wanna voice a commander. <laughs>